later portion of the game. So overall, you've got a ton of options here. You've got decent team fighting here for SK with decent dive, but good front to back at least a little bit if you can get Draven going. But if you actually find Draven falling behind, is there a just here to protect? Him. I mean, that decimating smash, Soul Furnace, did a lot of work already. Limits throws out the summoner heal, sidestep, spinning axe forward, and forced to flash for his life. Two sums for three. Six steps towards the pit and will spot it out. Doesn't have backup, doesn't have support. How brave is he feeling? Blast going forward, flash away, and no. I was, I was trying to build it up, I wasn't sure if he's going in. But the thing is, we know from SK yesterday that them having a lead is actually the scary part of the game. So maybe this is actually good for XL, because what we saw yesterday was that SK, was they coming through from limit. It was a bit dicey for SK. Honestly, if that fight had kept going, but we may not be done just yet. Listen, you're still bang on for that prediction. Relevant Certus looking at two and a half members because VTO's low. He still has access to the unleashed power. Certus dashes backwards, no execution. Cersei flashes to safety. The power is unleashed. Not gonna find the kill. The wish buys time. And SK have got the first, and Odo forced to run for his life. Doss jumping in with a long range save. And that's a massive opportunity. Unable to really pick those fights. And the one that has happened, or the Herald rounds one, two, and three, have gone the way forward for the unleashed power. Doss still has the ultimate available. Certus is in the top lane. He may need to teleport for the ensuing fight. Mountain Dragon down to half. 4,000 hit points. Certus has completed the TP. Odo's trying to push them away with that soul furnace. And Certus hops over the wall. The Whirling Death comes out. And Cersei slides the dragon down inside the pit. Irrelevant Markoon and Exekick are rolling over Exile. Exekick cashes out. Flashes away from the pit. The dragon goes to XL. The gold goes to SK. That was a one. Using their teleports sporadically. Look, SK gonna commit this time round. Markun's thrown out the prison. Smites it down, Beater forces out the flash. Here comes Zerse. TP's being channeled as well as five members of XL have grouped up in the jungle. Irrelevant. Looking for a potential flank. Can look to cut them up. Leap strikes forward. Counter strikes does. The death is whirling. The wild growth is used. Searches by some time and goes golden. As SK running for their lives. Blast Cone sends irrelevant to safety. Patrick is stepping forward, looking for the zaps, looking for the damage. Ultra Shock laser fired. Cleanse forced out of Exa Kick and the excellent Equinox. And of course, the third item secured for Exa Kick. He's been sitting on an Infinity Edge. Hurricane just secured for Patrick. One soul. Stepping into the pit. They've started this one. They're still on top of plenty of vision. Long range engage here from XL. Not going to be likely. Down to 3,000. Ultra Shock Laser fired out. Secured. XL want to try win the fight. Certus wants to chase down Patrick. Ghost and Flash available to him. Exit kick. Is is not here. Through Odo. Certus is trying to look for the back end as once again. Doss split out from the fight. Now Certus left alone with five members of XL. It's going to be jumped on and likely taken down. Perfect execution backwards. Forced to hop over the wall and. Does so, escapes with his life. That was beautiful, eventually throwing down the flash. But he doesn't, he escapes, costs him only the flash. And with Dragon spawning in 20 seconds, now XL are on the face, or like potentially at risk of losing the soul, as well as the Baron. Teleport being channeled, Surtis looking for limit, he flashes over the wall. Glacial Prison holds him in place, but there's no one to follow up. SK were not necessarily grouped for the full-on fights. And now you got to back away, Limit has no flash, no heal, no ultimate. A lot of those safety tools for people like Patrick in these fights now gone out the window. Markoon, the big engage tool, also doesn't have his, but without their support, XL don't want to try and contest, and that's Mountain Soul to SK. Really, really nice. In the middle lane, they're down so far in gold, so far in level, so far in damage. It's such a difficult task. But they've now lost another objective, and SK can group up for another in hip turret. The Baron buff is about to wear off, though, so this will give it a little bit of reprise for XL, but look at the big wave that's in top. SK can even go and match that if they want to. Now you've got minions on the Nexus turrets, and they're going. All right, no Baron buff means now is the time to fight. Whirling Death out. It's a kick, not able to find limits. He's able to run for his life. Stand aside. The Equinox is gigantic. It's a double kill for Certus. Another for Irrelevant. Odo and Limit are running for their lives. This will be the fourth for SK at the cost of nothing. All five members of SK inside the base of XL. They will take down the Nexus turrets. It took 30 minutes for two kills. It took 30 seconds for four kills. And SK take down XL. Slow and steady, SK will close out the game and get themselves the four wins on the board. Beautiful surprise by them. Definitely a massive.
massive difference from what we saw from them yesterday, but well worthwhile and setting them up fantastically now, as we say, to make sure they can get into that group stage. I mean, really, really good position. Four wins is crucial when you do think about making it to the...